Bedfordshire Police Constable Mitchell Sharp has been dismissed for gross misconduct after being found to have breached the standards of professional behaviour in that he sexually assaulted two women. Mitchell was already suspended from duty prior to his misconduct hearing, which was held over four days, ending on Friday, September the 30th. Although Mitchell was cleared by Cambridge Crown Court of the offences, the panel, whose level of proof is lower than that of a criminal trial, found him to have breached the standards in relation to that incident and a further assault on a second woman. A misconduct hearing burden of proof is that of the balance of probabilities and not beyond reasonable doubt as it is in a court. The hearing heard how Sharp assaulted the first woman at a barbecue with friends while off duty. Colleagues saw him take advantage of the woman while she was drunk and incapacitated by kissing her and touching her over her clothes. The second victim came forward in light of the first allegation where she reported being assaulted by Sharp in 2019 and then subjected her to further sexual advances despite her telling him to get fucked. Sharp was deemed to have breached the standards of professional behaviour in relation to authority, respect and courtesy and discreditable conduct at the level of gross misconduct and was handed his arse on a plate along with his P45. Temporary Assistant Chief Constable Sean Basra said, Mitchell Sharp's conduct throughout these incidents was totally unacceptable, particularly the predatory attempts of sexual contact with two women who were not consenting. Our recently launched male violence against women and girl strategy is committed to stamping out such behaviour both within our force and in society, but it must start from within, and this movement must come from men ourselves. Our force is hardworking to combat is working hard to combat sexual misconduct and is committed to the relentless pursuit of all perpetrators of sexual offences. It's literally never-ending. The vile nature of police in these offences, male police, is like a conveyor belt of cretins. One deviant out, five more in training.